And if you give, get a revelation of just what the name of Jesus is and what and what is behind that name of Jesus, then you know what? You will never be defeated in your life. We've got the name of Jesus. We've got the Word of God that's true and living. The Word of God is alive. And you know, His Word is powerful. And when we speak His Word, things happen. Because it's living. It's living. Because it has the Spirit of God with it. The Spirit of God with it. See, words carry spirit. Words are containers. It's important what we say. It's important what comes out of our mouth. Have you ever heard the expression, loose lips sink ships? You better believe they do. That's, that's not a Bible verse now. That just say, you know, that's just a saying. But a truth saying. Yeah, because James tells us, about the tongue, it's a little member. But what a great fire. What a great fire that it can cause by the tongue. That's why the Holy Spirit wants our tongue. That's why the Holy we need to render our tongue to the Holy Spirit and only say the things that God says. See, Jesus... Jesus said what? He said that I say what I hear my father say. And I do the things that I see my father do. Well, how could he say that? He also says I, I do those things, always those things, which pleases my father. And I think it's 1 John says that we have the confidence that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. That's how Jesus could say that. You say, well, Jesus did that because he was God. No, he laid down his kingly position in heaven. He came to earth as a man. He operated in this earth as a man anointed by the Holy Ghost. And that's how he worked. And you know what? He's our high priest. He showed us that we could operate the same way that he operates. So look at the life of Jesus. He said, the works I do, you shall do, and greater works than these shall you do, because I go unto my Father. Praise God. So you know what? If we listen, if we say only the things that we hear our Father say, and if we do those things which we see our Father do, and if we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight, we'll be doing the works of Jesus. Praise God. We can do those works. Yes, we can. A lot of people say, now you can't be like Jesus. Oh, yes, you can. Jesus is the prime example. He, got, he set the example for us. He said, the works I do, you shall do. You shall do. You. Praise God. Whosoever will. Whosoever will. I'm glad he included me in that. He included you too. If you'll take him at his word, if you'll believe him, if you'll receive him, praise God. Then you know what? If you'll live like Jesus did, operate like he did, you can have the results that Jesus had. You can cast out devils. Praise God. You can cast out devils. You can pick up serpents. And I don't mean a bunch of reptiles. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can lay hands on the sick and see them recover. And 
the Bible says if we drink any deadly thing, and I'm not talking about going out and drinking, literally drinking arsenic or some kind of poison. I'm talking about if you hear any anything that's contrary to God, if you know God, if you know God's Word, if you've got the Spirit of God living in you, it won't hurt you. It won't affect you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Isn't that good to know? Because if we, Jesus said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask what you will. St. John 15, 7. Ask what you will and it shall be done unto you.